हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स इन चैप्टर फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन टॉपिक कॉमन फैक्टर्स इफ आई विल आस्क फ्रॉम यू टेल मी द फैक्टर्स ऑफ एट यू विल गिव आंसर वन टू फोर एंड एट Now tell me the factors of sixteen. You will give answer one, two, four, eight, and sixteen. Now students, if my question is, tell me the common factors of eight and sixteen, then you will give answer, ma'am one. Two, four, and eight. That means the common factors are one, two, four, and eight. Students, if I'll ask from you. tell me the highest common factor then your answer will be 8 yes 8 is the highest common factor that means hcf is equals to 8 that means highest common factor is equals to 8 so students our today's topic is hcf its other name is gcd that is greatest common divisor so students there is one more method to find the hcf that is long division method so students Today I will discuss with you HCF of two numbers by long division method. To understand this topic, let's take some examples. Example number one: Find the HCF of two and seven. Now, students, I have to find the HCF of two and seven. for finding the hcf of two numbers we are having some steps and we will follow that steps step number 1 divide the greater number by the smaller number now students for finding the hcf of two numbers first step is we have to divide the greater number by the smaller number now tell me in between 2 and 7 which is greater yes 2 is smaller and 7 is greater so students while doing divide smaller number that is 2 will become the divisor and greater number that is 7 will become the dividend students i will check on two table 7 comes or not as you know on two table 7 doesn't come so we will take number that is less than 7 and comes on two table that number is 6 yes 2 threes are 6 Six is that number which is less than seven and comes on two table. Next step is minus seven minus six is equals to one. Now step number one done. Step number two. If remainder is equals to zero, then stop divide. Now students, you can see here remainder is equals to one, which is not equals to zero. that means we have to do divide 
once again then if remainder is not equals to 0 then divide the divisor by the remainder and continue until remainder is equals to 0 now students you can see remainder is not equals to 0 so we have to do divide again and we will do divide divisor by the remainder so previous divisor will become new dividend now again do divide now check on one table 2 comes or not yes on one table 2 comes on 2 1 2 is a 2 now again do minus 2 minus 2 is equals to 0 step number 2 was if remainder is equals to 0 then stop divide now you can see here remainder 0 that means we will not do divide further this means the divisor of this divide is the HCF so HCF is equals to 1 now students one more thing two numbers are called co prime if their HCF is equals to 1 now here HCF is equals to 1 that means 2 and 7 are co prime numbers let's take one more example example number 2 find the HCF of 10 and 15 now students first step is divide the greater number by the smaller number now identify which is greater yes 15 is greater and 10 is smaller so smaller number that is 10 will become the divisor and greater number that is 15 will become the dividend now we will check on 10 table 15 comes or not as you know on 10 table 15 doesn't come so we will take the number which is less than 15 and comes on 10, 10 table and that number is 10 10 ones are 10 now do minus 5 minus 0 is equals to 5 and 1 minus 1 is 0 now step 2 was if remainder is equals to 0 then stop divide but here remainder is not equals to 0 remainder is 5 that means we have to do divide again so we will divide divisor by the remainder this means previous divisor that is 10 will become the new dividend now check on 5 table 10 comes or not yes on 5 table 10 comes on 2 5 2 is a 10 next step is minus 0 minus 0 is equals to 0 and 1 minus 1 is equals to 0 now students remainder is 0 that means the divisor of this divide is the HCF that means 5 is the HCF so students today we have learned how to find the HCF of two numbers I hope now you are able to do the related homework that we have sent in your snap homework but students before starting the homework please go through the YouTube links that we have already sent to you in your snap homework have a nice day thank you